So all the news and everything's been happening, and even before I get into it, I just have one question for everybody. Did you miss me? Hey, what is up, everybody? Michael here. Welcome back to Technoid. And guys, I don't know if you knew this, but I was on vacation. Although I made that pretty obvious, but welcome back everybody. Thank you guys for tuning in. I missed all of you guys. I missed making videos. So let's get right into it. So today we're only going to focus on three stories, three stories only. And the third one is really just an announcement about something going on. But anyway, first story up of the day is Samsung. Now guys, I don't know if you know this, but Samsung has a tendency to kind of want to leak their own stuff. And well, they did it again. <laughs> So according to many, many news articles, I don't even need to leave links, you can literally look them up, uh, but I will leave one or two just for reference only. There are official images that are quoted, rumored to be leaked by accidentally, that these are the Note 10. Now, I would be sitting here and be like, oh, it's a big shocker, yeah, oh my god, but the thing is, we already knew what it was going to look like, so there really is no shock. And even before I go further with this story and talking about the design stuff, like, let's just pull the brakes, time out. This is the reason why there is no hype for Samsung products. Tell me anything you want, Samsung Knights. I don't give a shit. Every time there's a new Samsung Galaxy phone or a Note phone or anything, Samsung always finds a way to leak it before the event. They always find some way to leak their products and then say it was an accident. Bullshit! It ain't no accident. First of all, if it was an accident, you would retract it. But they leave the shit up. They literally leave it for people to take. Number two, this images that you're looking at are rumored to have been taken, although they claim it was accidentally. I'm calling bullshit on that too, because first of all, if they were taken, they would not literally look like the mockups of the actual phone. Like, look at these images. Do they look like something that would be taken from somebody that hacks into the website? No, it literally looks like something Samsung would take. Samsung makes this, and it's not even a render, this is the actual phone. As you guys know, I made a previous video talking about the design, where I liked it, I thought there was a lot of potential there. <coughs> Sorry guys, but... <coughs> God, I must have choked on something. But anyway, where was I? Oh yeah, the thing is with these images, is like, these are professional images of the phone. These are not something that somebody can just sketch up, because you can even see the graphics. You can see when somebody makes a render versus the actual. These images are the actual image of the phone. So don't tell me somebody hacked them in and took them. Samsung, you know damn well you put those images out to somebody and they spread it out. So this is why I hate Samsung, but also at the same time I love them because you leak your own shit, so there's no surprise. The only surprise you had at an event was the Galaxy Fold because the Galaxy phone, while we thought that phone would come down somewhere down the line, but when you had your past event, you showed it off, you didn't get to see what it really looked like. But when you unpacked it at the last event, that was a shocker, because we didn't think that that was actually ready to go. We didn't think, eh, they're probably gonna show it to us later on. No, you had it ready, it was supposed to work, but of course we all know what happened. But that was the only surprise that Samsung literally gave us in all the years that I've watched their events. And don't even get me started with what they're trying to do with the Note 10, because they're already giving that shit away on the advertisement with Dex, the pen, the camera. They're giving everything away. Th this is why, see, this is a reason why I love Apple's marketing, although they're false. They're also in this shit because they also managed to leak their own shit a day before the event. But here's the thing. They keep everything hush-hush. Everybody always speculates. With Samsung, there's no speculation. This right there! And... It baffles me that Samsung keeps doing this and keeps saying accent. Just stop saying accent. Just literally, like, stop even leaking it in the first place. If you don't want to call it an accident, stop leaking the phones. Unbelievable. Anyway, let's move on to story two. So that's the Note 10. Same thing. Looks the same. Everything I knew. Number two, Apple. So if you guys don't know, Apple has finally simplified the MacBook lineup. But I'm going to call bullshit on that. But let's elaborate. So Apple has discontinued the MacBook, the 12-inch MacBook that was supposed to have been the budget end model, but of course we all know Apple, we know their policies. Nope, 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 nope. That, but however though, because they took the MacBook away, the lineup is now simpler. You have the MacBook Air for non-pro users and the MacBook Pro for the pro users. And the base 13-inch model now gets the touch bar, but with a little bit of better specs with a reasonable price. Now. Why did I just say it was bullshit? 
because there's still a problem. See, this, this video is feel like more of a rant than giving you the news, but there's another problem with this. The pricing, oh my God, okay. Time out, okay. So, as you guys know by now, this is probably not the news story you were expecting. This has just been a bunch of stuff held in for the whole week. I've been watching this stuff since the week started, and I've been wanting to say this, like, Apple, this doesn't just simplify your lineup, but it causes more issues. Look, first of all, even if you somehow manage to make it easier for people to pick a MacBook, there's still a problem. If you pay an extra hundred bucks or more, you can get the Pro model, which would be more better for people because the Pro model, while everybody argues that the Pro model is made for pros, it supposedly has a little more beef than the Air. Now again, there is a certain market for that and there's a certain market for the Air. However though, Apple, however, you still priced it at $1,099. How, okay, you can make the argument with the 999 old MacBook Air. Now that one we're not even gonna discuss, but you missed the nail on the hammer. While you may have simplified the lineup, you still priced everything within the range of $100. So how is that solving a problem? It still just makes people want to go get the Pro. What's the point of getting the Air if you spend the extra few dollars, you get the Pro with a little more beef. Now don't get me even started with RAM configuration BS and all that specs and crap. Like it's, it's logic. Are you going to spend $1,099 on a laptop called the MacBook Air? Or if you spend the extra $100 or $200, whatever it is they updated it to, and get the Pro. You get a few more specs and it's got Pro in the name. So my thing is, is like, you also get the touch bar. I, I don't even know why the touch bar is on that, but anyway, the point is this. The MacBook Air is supposed to be for average everyday users that doesn't need the Pro. However, though, when you see the price range comparison, they're within a block. So they would rather take the Pro for the extra few dollars because you get a few more specs in there and a few more beef ups than the other computer. Like Apple, like, okay. I would understand if it was a little more or less, so then you could be like, all right, so it's a little more, like $9.99. If it was $9.99 like the original MacBook Air, then I'd be like, all right, that's fine, because that's $1,000. That's worth spending $1,000. I'd rather spend $1,000 on a computer than spend it on a smartphone. But because they're so close in price, you're not solving a problem. You're still, you're solving one problem by taking away one, but you still keep the constant problem of the prices within each range. So I don't understand why everybody keeps saying that, oh, this is the greatest thing Apple's done. This is the greatest thing that they've done for the MacBooks. This solves everything. It doesn't solve anything. It just makes more people just wanna go get the Pro for the extra hundred. Unbelievable. And last news story is just a personal one. So guys, I'm gonna be doing something different. Now, as you guys see, I have some issues with Android and Apple and everything. And a lot of you guys have been wanting me to make some videos on that, so, Basically, for the next two days, I'm going to be making two sole videos on things I dislike about Apple YouTubers and also what I dislike about Android YouTubers. What I dislike about them, not their character, not the personality, but what they do on their channel that I don't like and it reflects the media and everything. So I'm basically just going to tear down both sides because again, I remain unbiased. You hear me bash Samsung, but you also hear me bash Apple at the same time. So I'm not favoring one or the other. It's just that I have to keep it unbiased as best as I can to give you guys a new story. So, but I want to elaborate more on that. So the coming two days, I'm going to be making a video with the problem with Apple YouTubers and the problem with Android YouTubers. And I will not, I will try my best not to criticize people's character, their personality, just the channel. That's it. And just their content and what they're doing. I'm not trying to start problems. This is just what I am seeing that causes all this stuff in this media. You will see when the videos come out and what I mean. So that's gonna do it for Technoid. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Again, I'm just energetic. I'm back and I'm happy to be back. So thank you guys for tuning in. And I see a lot of you new subscribers. So thank you for subscribing. I really appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe. Please let me know your thoughts down below. Thanks for watching and peace.